Hi, I'm the Goodwill Gal. I have to tell you, I love serving trays. I use them throughout my house. I buy them at Goodwill, I buy them at thrift stores, home goods, any retail store. If I see it, it's a good price, I buy it because I know I'm gonna use it all year round. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a spring Easter centerpiece for your kitchen table. I'm gonna put it in my island and it's gonna stay here probably until May. So first I'm going to start with this tray. It's a wicker tray that I got for Goodwill for, from Goodwill for $4.99. And I'm just going to layer it with some um, super moss. And actually I got this at Safeway, but you could find it at any craft store. And I'm just going to layer it on the tray. When I decorate, I always think of layers, and for me, it's just starting the first layer of the moss, and you could tear it, and but make sure you leave little areas for your vases, and I just got these vases. They're part of my milk glass collection, and I filled them up with tulips and water, just for a nice spring, summer, or Easter effect. I think they're really pretty, and I love tulips, and. One of the tricks that the florist told me to do was add sugar and water if you don't have one of those little packets. But usually when I go to the florist, um, they'll give me an extra packet or two and um, they work out perfectly. But in a pinch, water and sugar will work just fine as well. So I've got my bases in place. You know, you could just tear this moss and fill up Fill any little holes that you have, or if it's too brown right here, maybe cut a piece and switch it out just to make it nice and pretty. And I have this vintage bunny that I got from Goodwill, and I'm gonna tuck it in here. Again, I'm gonna nestle it in between some of the moss and then work the moss around. And you could put little, little chickens or whatever it is that you like that represents spring to you. Maybe a nest with some little birds would be really cute. And then I bought these little um, decorative um, bugs and insects. Now I'm going to put a little out here for the kids to enjoy. There's some bees and some ladybugs. So now I got these little Reese's peanut butter eggs and I'm gonna throw these out. You gotta go have something for yourself, something for the kids, you know? They're pretty colorful with their pastel foil. And just put them out there and maybe save some for later. When these are all eaten, you can refresh the tray. And that's it, that's how simple it is. I mean, all I took are some vases, some moss, a tray, repurposed the tray, and um, I have this perfect little spring centerpiece that'll take me into Easter and beyond. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more DIY videos, and we'll see you next time.